This is a Casio MT205 um, synthesizer keyboard from the 80s that my dad bought for me as a gift. I never really learned how to play it well. As you can see, the um, keys have yellowed over the intervening decades. You may have seen a rebranded version of this already reviewed on the 8-bit keys YouTube channel. Now this series of, key of synthesizer keyboard came with some preset um, rhythms. Let's see what that sounds like. So you have something like um, six up here, six down here, so about 12 different preset rhythms that can be played. And then those, each of those can be modified with these switches. Now if you didn't like the set selection of rhythms that came with the keyboard, uh, there was the option that you can, if you had the money to buy the extra drum kit, uh, you can plug that in. These are just, I believe, just 3.5 millimeter um, stereo jacks. So each one of these would control two of the percussion instruments. Now, despite the these being 3.5 millimeter jacks are compatible with um, stereo headphone jacks. It's not really sound that you have to use to trigger this. These are not the best crocodile clips. So that's the bongo and hat. That's supposed to be the hand clap. That's the hand clap. Was that a snare drum or a rim shot? And you'll notice the the symbols. It doesn't play to completion when another sound starts. See, so it's abbreviated. So the samples, uh, they're not simultaneous and they don't mix. Let's try measuring this voltage. It seems to be close to being a five volt logic. Now let's see if we could make something like a metronome, an electronic metronome by modifying this A-stable multivibrator circuit and, and to trigger two of these instruments. So I've mod modified the A-stable multivibrator circuit, the one that um, you can easily Google for on the internet. Made out of uh, two NPN trans, uh, transistors and two capacitors and four resistors. And added two more bipolar, trans, uh, bipolar junction transistors, NPN type. And also um, added a 3.5 millimeter jack because this came out of one of my many um, broken headphones. Let's see what happens here. Now, 
we try to power it up. And now to scale up the idea, yeah, I go through a lot of headphones. So, four headphone jacks, and all connected via eight NPN bipolar uh, junction transistors, uh, whose gates are all fed via these 2.2 uh, ohm resistors from via the outputs of a 74HC595 shift register and the shift register is controlled with the micro bit. Drum pads are now hooked up via the shift register to the micro bit. Let's turn the micro bit on. Okay, so that all works. So I can now program any sort of uh, rhythm that I want. So why did I go with the shift register approach to breaking out the outputs to control the, instru the eight different in instruments? After all, the micro bit does have sufficient uh, input-output pins um, to control eight instruments independently. Well, with the shift register, I can um, actually just use only the three main general purpose input output pins. And hence you can get away with a more crude method of connecting it to the instruments via um, <coughs> crocodile clips, or in this case, I created a crude connector made out of wooden lolly sticks and uh, clothes pins, craft pins wrapped in copper slug tape. Now without the shift register uh, I'd need to break out more of the pins and they're not all e as easily accessible as this. For that we'd, we'd, I'd need to use something like a special connector such as one of these that you can get on the internet. It doesn't cost that much. Now I've modified the code to adjust the rhythm pattern slightly and also to give a bit of visual feedback from the micro bit. <laughs> <laughs> 